Hello guys and welcome back to this playthrough of Flashback, the 25th anniversary edition for the PS4. Uh, last time out in part 1 we basically paid some dude in the jungle a load of money for a anti-G belt and then we jumped down a hole into New Washington and that's where we are right now. Um, one thing that I happened to notice uh, just a moment ago is the credits that I had left over from the old man, I had some change, have disappeared. So I don't know where they've gone between here and falling down that hole, but they have disappeared. So that's useful. But we have everything else. I guess it just fell out of my pocket on the way down. So we are broke in New Washington. Right, first thing we need to do is go down here, and there's now art here apparently, that's good. Uh, I don't think I need to charge my shield. Nope, it's full. And then back up. And this jump that I'm about to do now used to cause me so much problems on the uh, Sega Mega Drive version. I don't know why, because I practiced it before recording to check and yeah, there we go, I did it again. <laughs> it never used to, it used to do it all the time on the Mega Drive and then one day I remember me and a friend were playing and then I couldn't make the jump so I passed the control to him and he couldn't make the jump and we were like, what's going on? I don't know. Right, we're going to find our friend Ian. Oh, oh no, we're going to roll straight into a door. Excellent, that's embarrassing. Okay. That's Ian there lying on the floor. Shit, but these two dudes want him dead. And I've put my gun away because I'm an idiot. Come on. I keep doing that. Alright, Ian, how's it going, mate? No, nothing to say? Thanks, Conrad. Those cops would have had my hide. Well, I suppose you don't remember your old pal Ian. Take a seat. We'll fix that shortly. Take a seat. What are you, Chris Hansen? But fine, yes. I have just jumped down a massive hole. I could use a good sit down. Slowly, the rays from the regenerator reimplant the memories in Conrad's brain. The end of year thesis. Awesome music again. So it's this simple to get our memory back, we just sit in this chair, so that's good. Glasses which measure molecule, molecular density. Is it really glasses because there's only on one eye? Individuals whose molecule, molecular density is a thousand times the norm. It's more of a uh, aliens mixed in with the population, a monocle, that's what it is. My investigations have attracted their attention. I'm no longer safe. I'm just enjoying this music way too much. I'm recording the hologram. Then I save the contents of my memory and send it to Ian. That's nice, he's probably only expecting a tie. <laughs> just sucking out my memory. <laughs> it literally took that long. Oh man, that's going to be an easy shot for the sniper, given how slow I'm walking. <laughs> if he misses that, he should quit. Give up sniping. No, he got me. The kidnapping. I have erased his memory. Fog. Minutes rest. Evasion. Wow. That's how it happened then, hey? That's a lot to take in. <laughs> Ian, what do you have to do to get to Earth? The cost of the ticket is astronomical. The only way would be for you to take part in Death Tower. I can't remember what voice I was doing for Ian, I'm sorry. <laughs> Death Tower? Yes, it's a television game. The winner gets a ticket. Okay. Okay, can you supply false papers? No problem. Go to the bar and ask for Jack. I will. Say I sent you. Oh, by the way. Put the force I put the force field you asked for me for in your pocket. Great, thanks Ian. Till the next time. Good luck. I'll be in touch when you get to Earth. 
and we never see Ian again. But thankfully, he gave us a good parting gift. He gave us this force field, which uh, which is pretty cool. Press circle, that happens. Um, there's a bit of a technique to using it. One that I'm not very good at, if I remember right. So the fuse is blown. Oh, for God's sake, it's just one thing after another, isn't it? Right, let's have a look. Oh, okay, time to use the force field. Let's give it a go. Need to time it. Oh, yeah, I think it worked. Cool. I didn't take any damage. And there's the fuse. Right, so we're saving up. Um, no, yeah, we need to save up for a ticket of Earth. And to do that, we're going to compete in Death Tower, which is a game show. A bit like The Running Man. So, can I, I, I don't think I can make the jump from here. I think I've got to do it from down here. We'll give it a crack. Come on, Conrad. Whoop. Yep, that worked. And put the fuse in, and we are good to go. That should work now. So, yeah, the running man. That's what we are. Uh, we're all Death Tower, whatever. That's what we're going to compete in to make it back to Earth. And yeah, oh, I was going to say, I keep trying to do different voices for the characters, but um, I keep forgetting whose voice is who, so do forgive me. I will try my best. Right. I'm going to try to keep the force field out at all times because it is a useful tool and. Oh. Who's this chap? Good morning. Is he saying good morning or am I? One of us was rude because one of us it didn't respond. Okay, I guess I don't go this way. And ah, who's this dude? Welcome to New Washington, young man. Here's a map of the city, which you might find useful, or may. I said moy. Thank you. <laughs> you moy find useful. I don't know. Must be his accent. Right. <laughs> Okay, so we need to ask for Jack in the bar, and the bar is in America. This is all the, uh, so this is the subway. Asia, Europa, Africa, and America are all stops on the subway. It's not the actual, obviously we're not on Earth, so it's not obviously the actual countries. We haven't come so far in the future that we can take a subway to any sort of, like, continent that we want. Uh, right. I called them countries for a minute. I did mean to say continent. I was like, I corrected myself. Speaking of correcting myself, in the last part, I got comments saying that, because um, I mentioned the t-shirt being red and you can change it back to white, and I was like, I don't know why the t-shirt's red. Uh, people in the comments have said to me that apparently in the Super Nintendo version, I think the Amiga version as well, the t-shirt was originally red. So the white t-shirt was added for the Mega Drive, which is very weird. Like, it, my, my point still stands in a way, because it means that when they got to the Mega Drive, the Mega Drive were like, huh, we don't want that shitty red t-shirt, give us a white t-shirt. There's some reason for changing the t-shirt, which I, I can't, you know. Can I talk to this guy? Okay, I didn't mean to get that out. Ah, the bartender will know. I'd like to speak to Jack. Oh yeah, Jack's not here. I've been sent by my friend Ian. Okay, Jack's waiting for you outside. Alright, thanks very much. He's got Brett the Hitman Heart glasses on, that's really random. Is this not outside? No? Okay, must be the other side. It's funny how he didn't know where Jack was, but as soon as I mentioned Ian, he's like, Oh yeah, Jack over there. Oh, I've got a thing for the voice for Jack now. Jesus. Uh, I'm Jack. Oh, I'm Jack. You're after some false papers. Yes, and as quickly as possible. 1,500 credits. 1,500? Aye, I'm taking a big risk here. But I don't have enough. Go to employment office. You'll find work there. And come back to me when you've done, when you've got the money. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, Jack stumbled there with his dialogue. I think he has a very similar voice to the bartender as well. So it must be an accent, an accent here in America, <laughs> which it definitely is not an American accent. 
Oh god. Whatever, okay? Look. The, this, the people that made this game didn't pay for voice actors, so you, I'm doing it for free. What do you want? Right. Okay. So, the job center was in Europa. I can't believe we've got to get a job. It's absolutely ridiculous. Can't we just start a Patreon and start begging for money? Like all the good YouTubers these days. Please donate to my Patreon, please. I need to get back to Earth. If you do, I'll make a video of me doing the Fortnite dances. Oh, there you go. Death Tower Show. That's the show we're trying to get on. There you go. Win 10,000 credits. Wait a minute. That's exactly what I need to get back to Earth, I think. I think that was the price of the ticket. Either way, we need that money. All right, here's the work agency. You must have a permit in order to work. That's ridiculous. You can get one at the admin center. Hmm. Okay, where's the admin center? I guess it's City Hall, which is in Africa. Hmm. Yeah, it's got to be in City Hall. Okay, so we'll head to Africa and see anyway. Then if not, it's in Asia, because we've not found it yet. All right, mate. All right, good. Can't even do like, you have to have a permit to work. Can't even do like a bit of a, uh, you know, cash in hand. Maybe rake some leaves or something for some old lady. She gives us like a couple thousand credits for our troubles. I don't know if that's a lot. I don't know what the exchange rate is. I imagine 10,000 or 10,000 is enough for a ticket for Earth, which is considered pricey. It's got to be quite a bit then. So maybe, maybe raking leaves wouldn't be enough. Wait, if I miss my stop. Oh no, it's good. That's cool. I thought I missed my stop because I was jabbering on like a fool. Okay. Restricted area 2. Well, it's not going to be a restricted area, so... Left or right? Let's try right. Travel. Titan travel. <laughs> That's some art, though. We'll have that. So, we are we on Titan? Looks like we're on Titan. Yes, sir. I've been around. Administrative center. Hello. I'd like a work permit. First floor. I'm not doing a voice for all these, that's ridiculous. Oh, what do you have to say? I don't have time. Oh, you and me both, my friend. He doesn't have time. Wait a minute, what, to do his job? That's ridiculous. Window A. I'd like a work permit. No, it's not here. See window C. Oh, for God's sake. I'd like a work permit. No, it's not here. See window B. Oh, for, they're having a laugh, aren't they? I'd like a work permit. It's becoming a bit of a catchphrase. Good. Okay, the boss will see you now. What, now that I've... It's like real life, isn't it? I've jumped through all the hoops. Am I going to say my catchphrase? I'd like a work permit. There's no problem getting a permit. Well, evidently there is, mate. I need your ID card. Okay. Here we go. Hit. That's me. Wounded man. Okay, cool, so I've got to go back to Europa now. And, uh... I can now start working. Jesus. It's a lot of work, trying to work. <laughs> right. Let's see what kind of jobs we can do. Maybe we can get, like, a temp job somewhere. Argus or something. That'd be really weird. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's definitely Europa. I was thinking, is it Europa or America? But America is the bar, so... Oh, cool, that was convenient. It was the next stop. Right. Restricted Area 3. There's a lot of restricted areas. And they're all numbered. Very odd. Generally, you just need to sign this restricted area. You don't need to number your restricted areas. But, okay, I'm sure that's a, there's a reason for it. Okay, you miserable bastard. I've got what you asked for. You must have a permit in order to work. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've got one. It's here. I'm going to smack you with it. You must have a permit in order to work. You can get one. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. You don't want to see the permit. Oh, yeah. These machines are the machines that give us the jobs. So there's a save point down there, too. All right. What's our first job? Use a Titan Space Lines. 
receipt of a parcel at the spaceport station Asia, and transportation to the Titan Travel Agency, Station Africa. Salary, 100 credits. Man, I need 1500. If you accept this mission, please insert your work permit. Man, 1500 for papers. How in Titan's name am I going to pay for that? I need to check out Titan Zoo before I leave as well. Okay, mission validated. Titan Zoo's not a thing, by the way. <laughs> In case anyone's thinking, oh god, we're going to get to see a zoo. No, afraid not. I'm afraid the bar's about as exciting as it gets. Do, 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 do. Here's your shield, bitch. Right. Get the force field ready. So we're going to Asia, then to Africa. So Asia to get the parcel, Africa to drop it off. Simples. Doing jobs on Titan, yes sir, I've been around. Oh yes, Death Tower Show. I will win you. I will. The ultimate reality show. Okay, so A Asia first? Yeah, Asia first. God, you have to wait forever. Bloody public transport. Great. That took way too long. <laughs> I wonder if they do, like... No, no one's using it. I mean, it's the future. It's, it seems really quick, but... Uh, you alright, mate? Have a nice day. You too, my friend. I can't have a nice day. I have to work, because I don't have a Patreon. Uh, are you the... Okay, no, I guess he's fucked off. It must be you. Do you have the parcel? You do? I'm the messenger. Oh, yes. Take this parcel to the travel agency. And be careful. It's valuable. Don't talk that way. Thank you very much. Conrad, he's better than FedEx. He's better than UPS. Right, Asia, so we're going to Africa. Nope. That's America. Okay, here we go. What kind of man for only a hundred... As little as a hundred credits will take a pa uh, parcel from Asia to Africa. Conrad's Courier. Conrad's Couriers with the cheapest thing around. The cheapest thing on Titan. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, I did not expect that. Damn, I'm being shot at. And I had to kill someone. You wouldn't get that same kind of service from FedEx or UPS. That's Conrad's Couriers. Right. Here you go. Here's your parcel. 100 credits. God. And I had to take a bullet. Unbelievable. Right. Back to the old job centre, Aruni. And, uh get our next job because I mean that what we need 1500 and uh, we just knocked a hundred off that bill so 1400 to go <laughs> that's 1400 more uh, sorry that's 14 more parcels we have to deliver but thankfully no they're different jobs and they increase in pay but still still if Conrad just bought a webcam and made a video put some cold play in the background and was like, please, I need money to get home. He'd make the money far quicker. But instead, we're an intergalactic mailman. We got that package there pretty quick. That was first class. Definitely. Right, what we got? Uh, from the Vital Corp. That sounds important. It sounds vital, almost. Escort a VIP to the research centre. The VIP will wait for you at their entry to Restricted Area 2. Ah, see, that's why they number the... You'll need to be armed as this area may be dangerous. Well, I take my gun everywhere. See, 300 credits now, so... If you accept this mission, please insert your work permit. There we go. 300 credits. We'd have to deliver three more parcels to get that kind of money. So we're definitely in on this. Mission validated. So like I was saying, it took us two minutes to deliver that parcel. That's like first class post in the future. Second class post is like three million years, so... Okay, restricted area two. That's in Africa. Okay, so... How's my shield? Right, yeah, I'm going to recharge the shield. 
and probably save as well before we go because if we're having to escort this VIP that means that we well basically I sense danger he's obviously the kind of VIP that people want to shoot at I myself might want to shoot at him but I imagine that would um, void my contract and uh, I'm not about that I'm about making those credits making those credits so I can go on uh, that uh, death tower and make even more credits right so Africa it's amazing we don't have to pay to use this I wonder if we've got some sort of like rail pass some intercontinental rail pass or some shit I don't know god it would be the furthest stop away wouldn't it jeez that took forever would have been quicker to walk Okay. Must be pretty boring being that that guy driving around. All right. Streets in area two. Whoa. Are you the VIP? <laughs> I guess you are. He must think I'm so cool. Lead on, young man. Take me to the research center. Yes, research center. I assume it's this way. Hang back. I'll make sure it's safe. Whoa. What's he... Oh, do I have to send the lift up for him? Okay. He's that incompetent. Yeah, he must think I'm so cool. I roll in with my gun out. And he's like, oh man, they've sent a badass to protect me. This is so cool. Stay back, sir. <laughs> this is wicked. Okay, all clear. I'll get this door open for you. Back in a jiffy. Back in... Where's he gone? He's fucked off. Oh, yeah, I think he's had enough of my shit. <laughs> Oh god, a mine. These people really want him dead. Okay. Well, there's some art too. It's quite funny, like, he probably is like... He's probably like, look, I just wanted protection from, like, you know, crossing the road safely and shit. You sent some guy with a gun. Mind you, to be fair to me, the, the ad did say you need a gun, so... Oh, there you go. Come on, follow me. Jeez. It's a bit weird whoever wants him dead put a mine on that roof. They're really like banking on him going up there himself when he can't even get down anywhere without using a lift. He has to have a lift brought up to him as if he was going to climb up there. These guys that want him dead don't know him that well. Oh. What was the point in that? <laughs> Mate, you could have come down here yourself. Look, that guy's trying to kill you. He's in a, a room and he's shooting the wall. Okay, I'm going to do this. I think I'm just going to roll on him. Oh shit, I put the gun away again. Oh nice, you can pistol whip people. Oh, I do remember that actually. Alright, let's take this key. It's a good job that guy was a bad shot. <laughs> I rolled right in front of him and he was shooting behind me. I don't know. These people that want him dead, if, if people were going to be out to kill me, I'd want these people after me because I'd feel pretty safe. Not the best assassins. Hardly like we've got Agent 47 after us. Oh shit. I'm so glad I thought to put my force field out then. Right. And I think that's probably the only time I've used the force field effectively. So. <laughs> right. Let's roll on. Oh, I forgot about these things. These things take like a million bullets. If I remember correctly. Okay. They just come right at you. You just gotta shoot. Come on. Okay. Good job we've got infinite ammo, really, isn't it? Another one. Okay, and I jumped back that way for no reason whatsoever. Oh, shit. Oh, God. And... Oh, nice. I'm impressed. I impress myself sometimes. See? Is that the key there? Yeah, I think so. Yep. You pay 300 credits for protection, I make sure you get your money's worth. He'll be like, oh, thank you so much for being my bodyguard. How long have you been a bodyguard? Oh, about five minutes, mate. I was a male man before this. Like, seriously? Basically, like, uh, you know, I'm a jack of all trades. Right. Where's he gone? Is he behind the door? 
Tell me he's behind the door. No, thank God. I was going to say, I'm bragging about how good of a bodyguard I am, and I... <laughs> Literally, anyone could murder him in all this time I've been away. Oh, this must be the place, because it's a dead end. Here you go, I assume. Is this the place? Lead on, young man. Take me to the research. Is this not it? Where else can we go? Thank you for your help. Oh, what, you just wanted me to walk you two more feet? <laughs> he refused to give me the money until I walked a bit further. I arrived safely and there's no longer any danger. Mate, there wasn't really any danger. If you, you consider, like, people shooting at walls and, like, locked doors and a landmine that's nowhere near you danger, then, yeah, I guess there was some danger. I didn't even get injured, so... Right, we'll drop a save. And our next job's ready on that monitor. But, um... Yeah, I'm not going to do any more today. So, um... Next time, obviously, we'll continue doing these jobs and we'll get our uh, papers. We'll get enough money to get our papers and we will go on to Death Tower. Uh, but, yeah, so thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you are enjoying this flashback playthrough. And I will see you guys in the next part. Cheers, guys.